It's game four of the World Series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Philadelphia Phillies. Here we go, it's game four. Phillies versus Toronto. Toronto leads the series two to one. Here are your starter, Ty Stoudemire versus Tommy Green. And there's your last score for the first three games. They all were decided by one run. It's been a good series so far. And there's your starter, Tommy Green, the 26 year old. Here comes the defensive lineup that's gonna be backing up Tommy Green. But the offensive lineup for Toronto, Ricky Henderson is up first. Let's get this game going, let's do it. Ricky Henderson makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. Swing and a shot to third. And a base hit, so he goes after the first pitch he sees and he's on to open up the inning. And there he goes towards second. Pitch inside, the throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Devin White will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Now a fastball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. Catch made out there in left center as the runner may tag from second. Nope, he'll hold tight at the bag with one away. Roberto Alomar will stand in now in an early RBI spot in the top of the first. Comes with a fastball as this is lifted the other way out to left center. Catch made out there in left center as the runner may tag from second. Nope, actually he'll stay put and there are two away now. Joe Carter will stand in here for the first time looking to pick up that runner from second with two away here. On a big swing there as this is high and deep out to right. And this park's not going to hold this one. It's gone. A home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. His fourth long ball of this series as the Blue Jays take a 2 to nothing advantage. John Olderud will stand in for the first time here. And now this ball's in the air to deep right field. And that is into the right field seats. It's a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His first homer so far in the series. And the Jays have moved out in front three to nothing. Number four will get his first shot at it here. Swing and a miss is all he could do is reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. Rough first start by Tommy Green. Toronto is up 3 9, but he's just started Todd Stoudemire, the defensive lineup for Toronto. Look this, and here we are with the Phillies lineup. Lenny Dytra is up first. The crowd is ready. Let's get the bottom of the first going. I'm going to check back with y'all later. Lenny Dykes will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Oh, and he runs up and gets a good one down. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunch single to get him started here. Mariano Duncan will stand in. And this might advance the runner as it's on the ground to second. No problem here, one away. John Crook will be the batter. Opposite field to left. In there. Base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Dave Hollins will get his first cuts here. And this is hit high in the air and crossing into foul ground behind third. But he will haul this in on the run. Darren Dalton will stand in here for the first time, looking to pick up that runner from second with two on away the ground to short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. Well, this might have been one of those balls where he just needed to take a bite out of it at third. You can see him charge in, barehand the thing, and then try to whip it over there to first base, but he winds up throwing it wildly. Ricky Henderson will stand in. He singled to lead off the ball game and later came around to score the game's first run. On good opposite field power here as this fastball is taken high and deep to right. A leap, but he won't get it. It's off the wall. Around third and being waved on home. And a relay home. And not in time as the second run scores. Devin White will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. 
And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. And this is taken in shy of the wall, but that should be plenty deep to score the run. And the run will come across on the sacrifice fly as this is now a 6-1 to one ball game. Roberto Alomar will try it again. He flew out his first time. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. Erskine is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. So three runs on only two hits in the inning, one error, and no one left. You can see he's got a strong top hand there. and He just hooks this one into the hole for a two-out single. Tommy Green will take his cuts now. Now the 0-1 is swung on and lifted out to straightaway center field. White is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Joe Carter is ready to go here as we begin the third. Oh, high, deep. Where will this one come down? Now that is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center, his second of the game, as it's now a six-run ball game. John Olderud will see if he can do it again. He homered his first time around. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. And this one is a home run. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game as this is now a seven-run ball game. So he'll make his way to the dugout here as he'll turn things over to the bullpen from here on out. David West is going to come on to pitch here and seeing as though it's just the third inning, he may be asked to work for a while. Hat Borders will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Mariano Duncan will stand in. This is hit sharply to the left side. That's in there, base hit. John Crook will stand in. An RBI single in his first appearance. Softly to third, this could be two. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Dave Hollins will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Swing and a ball pretty well hit out towards left center. And this is taken in on the run out there in left center, but it should be enough to get the run in. And that's going to be a sack fly and an RBI as he scores from third. Darren Dalton will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First offering on the way. Now a ball sliced hard on the ground. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Jim Erskine will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Now a fastball driven the other way out to deep left field. And see you later. That one is gone. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His second home run of the series as it's now an 8-5 ball game. Mitch Thompson will try it again. He flew out his first time. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three and the inning is over. So it's four runs on just three base hits. One error in the inning and no one left on base. They'll take this in without much trouble and two are gone here to start the fourth. Devin White will stand in. He drove in a run with a sack fly his last time. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning all told. Number three will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number three. Swing and a shot toward right center. And he is going to reach. It's a base hit. 
Around first on his way to second now. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. Al Leiter is going to come on and make an appearance here, though I suspect even he couldn't have predicted he'd be taking over in just the fourth inning. Mariano Duncan will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry. It's hooking fast, but it's going to stay fair as it's inside the left field foul pole. A home run. A three-run shot down the line in left. His first homer here in the series, as that makes this an eight-all ball game. Dave Hollins will stand in. He drove in a run with a sack fly his last time. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. But the Phillies use the long ball here, and they get three on this three-run home run. Bobby Thigpen is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Joe Carter will stride in, and they'll need to be careful as he's already homered twice thus far. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. And out of here! Solo shot here to left. His third home run of the ball game, and they've taken a one-run lead. John Olderud stand in with two home runs already under his belt in this one. And this is swung on and pretty well hit. Out to deep left center field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Boy, and this would have been a really costly double play, but fortunately, he's hustling all the way down the line, and he's able to beat that throw on the back end. Hat. Porters will step in, a ground-out victim as last time. In the air to right center and carrying well. Way back there now, and gone! Home run! So a three-run shot to right center field. His first homer so far in the series as they open up a four-run lead. Alfredo Griffin will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes 2-3 to three for good measure as the inning is over. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate, and they push across four runs. Tony Castillo is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Jim Erskine will try again after hitting that two-run homer his last time around. Now he spins on a fastball here and drives one to deep right field. And that will find the seats. A home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game. And just like that, it's down to a three-run ball game. Ricky Jordan will look to provide a little punch off the bench as he'll hit with runners at the corners and one out in the inning. swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole and that is in the right field the base hit Lenny Dykes will get another shot now two for three in the game out in front a bit as this is pulled down the line to first and that is past him at first it's a fair ball throw won't get him Dwayne Ward is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. Mariano Duncan will be the first to face him here as he'll stand in with two men in scoring position and only one away. And this one is past him, and that could be a run. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. John Crook will get another crack, one for three thus far. Swing and a fly ball to straightaway left. Henderson is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. 
So it's four runs on five hits, no errors, and a man left. Roger Mason will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. This is exactly what he needed after his guys came back to tie the ball game. He's only one out away from a shutdown inning. Roberto Alomar will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Well, it only took him one pitch to get himself in trouble, and one pitch later, he's already out of trouble by getting that double play. Mitch Thompson will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. Oh, hits sharply as this is pulled into right. Carter is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Joe Carter will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. Changed up on him here, and this is grounded to short. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. This game remains tied at 12. Mickey Mora will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. Around second now, heading for third. And he'll reach third here with a triple as now the go-ahead runs only 90 feet away with one gone. Lenny Dykes will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. And that'll be the fourth wide one, so put runners at the corners here with one man gone. Mariano Duncan will dig in. He homered back in the fourth. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And a big out there as the go-ahead run stays at third with two gone now. John Crook will step in. One for four in the ballgame. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. And the go-ahead run will score from third as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Dave Hollins will dig in. He singled his last time around. And a big strikeout there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Ben Rivera will come in and pitch now. Pat Borders will stand in as he's accounted for one of the biggest at-bats of the game so far. A three-run shot back in the fifth that's really energized his ball club. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field, and you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game, and we are tied again. Mitch Williams comes on now, trying to keep this ball game tied. Number 33 will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Now here's the first pitch. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And that's a fair ball as this will rattle up into the corner. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. Ricky Henderson will dig in, needing to find a way to get that go-ahead run in from second base. Toward the hole and through into right, a base hit. Oh, and he misses the stop sign there as he heads for the plate. The tag, and they cut down the potential go-ahead run at the plate. Devin White will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. Erskine is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. 
But the tying run comes across to score here as this one looks like it'll go to the wire. Danny Cox is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. That could be the defining moment of the game right there. He's got one more guy to get through in the inning, but that was a huge out number two. Mitch Thompson will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory now toward the third base dugout. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. Roberto Alomar will stand in needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. Swing and a hard ground ball to third. And that's going to get through into left. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base to lead off the inning. Joe Carter will stand in with the go-ahead run at first. So he'll need to at least get him into scoring position with nobody out. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His fourth in the ballgame as they've taken a two-run lead. Incredible. I mean, if I wasn't sitting here, I wouldn't believe it myself. Four home runs now in one game. In the history of baseball, this has happened like, what, 16, 17 times? What a show he's put on. Duncan takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Pat Borders stand in with two home runs already under his belt in this one. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll head now to the bottom of the ninth. The Jays are out in front, 15-13. Mike Timlin is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Kevin Stocker will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side. Fastball strike three called on the outside corner and a pretty generous corner at that as that's the first down of the inning. Kiki Batista will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And this is swung on and missed, so not a productive at-bat off the bench, and there are two away now. Two hitters, two strikeouts, and now they're an out away from wrapping this thing up. Lenny Dykes will stand in as their last chance now. Oh, and he's waiting on the fastball that time as he belts one high and deep to right center. And this game just got a little more interesting. This is a home run. Solo shot to right center. His first homer here in the series as it's now a one-run ball game. Mariano Duncan will stride in again as first we flash you back to his at-bat in the fourth inning and what a big one it was. A three-run home run that was certainly one of the big blows in the ball game to this point. Now the pitch. Now a swing and he pops him up. And this should do it. And that's going to fall. A base hit. Uh, for all the line drives, if you're caught out there, you'll take one of these once in a while. I don't know what you call this thing. A little fly ball or a little flare. But you see everybody converging on it and nobody getting there. John Crook will step in with the tying run on first, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. So it's a two run shot to right center. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over.
really one of the most entertaining World Series games we've seen in a long time. What a finish here as they come through to win this in their final at bat. And there's your ball game, Philly Taste, game four, wild and the thriller. It's a 2-2 tie. And here's your player of the game, Lenny Dystra. And let's get on right to the highlight. Joe Carter leads it off in the top of the first with a home run, 2-0 Toronto. Mariano Duncan, the bottom of the fourth, ties it up, 8-8. And then Pat Borders in the top of the fifth, 12-8, give the four-run lead to Toronto. But the Phillies came back. John Krug gets a single up the middle to make it 13-12. Holland strikes out looking to end the threat. And Borders ties it up in the top of the eighth, 13-13. Let's keep it here in the top of the eighth. Henderson with a single up to right field. Thought he had an RBI single, but they gunned down Sprout at home. And the game remained tied. Well, here we go in the top of the night. Joe Carter hit his fourth home run. Wow, to give the Phillies a 15-13 lead. But John Crook ended the game with this blast. It was 16-15. Phillies won with a walk-off win. What a game. Wow, I'm exhausted. Thanks for watching. There was a total of 13 home runs hit by both teams. The most notable was Joe Carter with that four home run game. But it wasn't enough. And John Krug ended the game with that sweet walk-off. Well, Timlin gets the loss. And Mitch Willem, wild thing, he gets the win. Well, thanks again for watching. This was the best game I ever played. Back and forth, back and forth. I thought I had the win. Well, game five coming up. Juan Guzman versus Kurt Schilling. Look out for that. Till next time, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>